Ah, uh, yes. It dragging. Continue, it continually surprises you, Sakel, just how slow the caravan is. <laughs> wow. He is flabbergasted. And uh, he heads back to where his sister is and her, her portion of the caravan, okay. bearing lots of stuff. Right. And he shares what he found with her. Okay. And she looks completely confused. They uh, they head up to talk to Matthias. <coughs> so Sakel can share his scouting report. Nah, Sakel. Good to see you. We're not far, I think, from the river. Hi. I was looking Don't at things ahead. You found anything to drink? Did you on your way? But maybe. Ah, I was just joking. Really? It might. It might be poisoned. And Sakel, Sakel uh, starts with the biggest thing first, and he tells him of the ten iron wings found dead in the brambles that he stumbled upon. And how he suspects they died of poisoning as well as you know, just being brutalized. What do you know of these iron wings? I'm not sure I've heard of them. They're a mercenary company from far west. I had a run-in with the the commander that I found dead among these men. He was the one who helped me get over here from uh, Yadenve, where my sister and I emerged from the Darklands. It's been a while since I've seen him. I can't believe he's dead. Hmm. Well, we, interesting... cannot, we cannot go back, but I think the scouting party should cross the river and the caravan stay this side. I don't want to be crossing the river if there are bandits or murderers about. It was a very strange killing. Um, Sakel talks about how nothing was taken from them. He uh, was able to acquire a lot of things off their bodies. Everything of value was left except for Sergeant Kramer's special weapon that he was known for, he, he recalls. What weapon was it? One of these long guns, I think. Like Anna has, but different. He may have made it himself, I'm not sure. Mm. It was his, Asta says. And it was the only thing taken that I could tell. Mm. He says, uh, I left the alcohol. He says it looked like they were um, caught completely off guard by the ambush. So it wasn't like... It wasn't as if uh, bandits swept in and got them. It was more like... They were betrayed. Their corpses were frozen with looks of surprise or complete incomprehension. They didn't even have their armor on, and he describes what he recalls. Mm. Circumstances are mysterious, but it smacks of conspiracy (sighs) 
Matthias has his head in his hands. Skell's just quiet. Well, it ruffles his hair. Is there a way down the cliffs to the lake? Sakel thinks. Is there a shore beneath the cliff? You haven't gone that far to check, but you think there, there would be. I'm saying places. Yeah, he says, eh, it would fit the pattern that I've seen. I haven't gone that far ahead. We should, um, I think I want you to uh, go on before I say Sakal nods. The way the spirit summoned into the circle, this. Yasin. <sighs> no. Sakel waves a hand as if his, uh, his thought left him. Never mind. I suspect we'll figure out what happened to that settlement soon enough. Out of character, or what now? That's something we must ask ourselves every day. What if we would get out of bed? What now? I would like, Sakel, for you to start scouting behind us. Hmm. I want to know whether or not we are able to go back if we have to, or if we are being followed. A couple of our passengers had used up their welcome in Mibbon. I didn't think it would be particularly relevant, but it might now be more so. I see. Sakel nods to Matthias. Matthias is looking out into almost into the the dark corner of, of his pavilion tent, clearly deep in thought. I don't much like what I found, but I think finding it might have been good for us. You sure you didn't find anything to drink? <laughs> Sigal says, if you want to chance it. And um, he'll go get the wine bottles and the keg. Ah, a small bounty. Wow. 
in my profession, Sakel, you need to roll the dice. Much as when I agreed to take the two of you along, much to Anna's objections. You do mm. realize that your kind are fairly unwelcome above ground. <coughs> universally despised and feared there are those of the faith that would burn Anna and I at the stake simply for giving you succor and protection during the journey they're fools but that doesn't change he opens the keg and pours uh, it's a small keg, it's not a, not a kind of a full keg, it's a, like a travelling keg. It's got about 12 pints in it. It pours about uh, a third of it into his big tankard. That's quite a bit. Scout behind Sakel. Sakel nods sharply. How confident are you, priestess, that you can deal with spirits if we have to go east? Fairly, Aya says. I have a. Feeling that we will not be able to go south. Particularly with what happened in the Nile marches with the elves. I came prepared, Aya says. Usually mundane weapons have no effect against the ethereal, but... I can make mundane weapons magical for a time. That would be so. However, it is... I worry now of... whether uh, those that did for this Yasin Orlovsky are waiting for us at Serendipity. I just shakes her head and like, uh. Well, I shall entreat. I says, I shall entreat my goddess, and perhaps she will keep closed the gates of death to us, but swing them wide open for our enemies. Can you speak to your goddess? I will speak to Anna. I think the group, this scouting group, should go to Serendipity as soon as possible but with great care. I am odds. And uh, Sakel immediately begins making preparations to set off behind the, the caravan. Okay. Okay, it goes into the evening. Um, um seeing that Sakel is back, Donovan would go to Haya. Yep. And again, I, uh, on the side of the wagon. Yeah. yeah. Haya 
comes out and speaks to him. And she says, and she tells him about the terrible news Sakel just relayed. And how it may relate to the strangeness going on with the whole serendipity situation and the, the spirit of Yasin. Hmm. Some kind of conspiracy, deception. I will attempt to divine information about this mystery to hopefully clear things up. Yep. She says, uh, Sakal recognized the one Sergeant Kramer. It is possible that the two events are not related, as from my answers I've gotten, it seems that only one person killed Yasin. If one person managed to kill an entire troop of mercenaries, well, that's quite frightening. <laughs> Understatement. I just kind of hangs her head. I feel the road ahead is going to have many more deaths on it. All we can do is try to clean up afterwards and minimize it the best we can. I think we've jumped headlong into a mystery. And if we don't solve it in time, it may mean our deaths. So, good luck, Donovan. And Haya heads back into her, into her um, wagon. And he goes to ask that question. Who killed Kramer of the Iron Wings? So Cal goes and scouts the other direction. Uh, Bad phrasing? No. We have a lot of reason to be afraid. <laughs> was it Melina? No. Okay. It was, um, Gisela Lumen again. Oh! So, we now have a person to not fuck with. <laughs> uh, I mean... Jesus. Okay, and after he divines that, finding a nice private place to do this, with Levi floating about and consulting absolutely nobody about this Donovan is going to hold a seance for Kramer oh my god excellent does uh, he want to get castigated by Haya? end of session yeah <laughs> <laughs> you guys enjoy that? yeah if by enjoy you mean we're reduced to pants shitting terror. <laughs> <laughs>